internet. Yes. Friday. Burn and learn. I'm back. Uh, so, um... Wow, I got a lot to tell you. Uh, but I should start by saying, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, to enjoy the twilight years that are fast approaching with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise, would rather do anything other than exercise. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it than I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, grumpiest way possible. Plus, by doing this, you know exactly when I don't do this, so you can bother me. Um, guilt. Very good motivator. Guilt and shame. Um, fear and shame. That's basically, isn't that parenting? <laughs> um, all right, so a few things to share with you. First off, today, the learn part of my Burn and Learn. Again, this LinkedIn Learning Arduino stuff is freaking great. I'm going to find the name of the person who did it. I'm going to tweet her and say thank you because she's doing a freaking amazing job on this uh, Arduino stuff. Uh, we're doing... Um, pulse width modulation, which is the way Arduino deals with analog signals or creating analog signals or taking in analog signals, because obviously analog signals aren't either on or off. They're a continually changing uh, number. Um, and uh, so figuring out how to do voltage divide, uh, yeah, voltage dividers um, and um, deal with all sorts of sensors and stuff. Very, very cool. Highly, highly right. Two thumbs up from me, I would say. Um, and a few other things exciting for you. Tecla. So this company called Tecla, which I went and visited yesterday, great couple of people, um, uh, Mauricio and um, Natalia, um, or Natalie, I'm not sure, maybe I'm being too fancy with that name. Um, they walked me through this great um, uh, uh, system that they've got in place, which is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, allows you to access uh, iPhones um, and, and iPads and computers and all sorts of things, uh, uh, TVs, the whole thing. Basically anything that an Android can deal with, that an iPhone can deal with, that a computer can deal with, that if this, then that. They're using that system, which is sort of a little mini subscripting system online. Um, Alexa, just really, really cool assistive stuff uh, for people with disabilities. Uh, they gave me a deal on one of them, so I'm going to bring one back and uh, show you all about it and then um, uh, have uh, it for the uh, tech bandits to play with, um, which is another reason why I really appreciate your donations because obviously, you know, these things don't cost nothing. Um, so thank you very much for everybody who's making that possible. Um, I sent out my newsletter again today. Um, I'm right now I'm calling it uh, Techlets. <laughs> I think it's Techlets, something like that. Um, just these little I, just these little inspirations to send out, little things I thought were cool and, um, and maybe some suggestions on how people can talk to their kids or students um, about them. Um, uh, I had a couple, speaking of students, I had a couple of uh, stragglers, tech bandit stragglers over yesterday. Was it yesterday or day before yesterday? Um, uh, yeah, I guess the uh, day before yesterday. And um, uh, we got uh, we got our little uh, hydrogen fuel cell cars running, which is kind of cool. They've even got some uh, suggestions on how this could be improved. So I'm going to write those up and uh, and email um, the uh, Let's Talk Science folks because there's this they have this fantastic little system where of syringes and uh, distilled water, and then it creates it splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen, and then you you can power the car. Uh, using a little battery system here. Uh, their biggest uh, issue was trying to connect things and get the thing moving at the same time. Because as soon as you as soon as you try to connect it, it takes off. Uh, admittedly, you could be lifting the car while you do it, but they thought it'd be smart if there was a switch in there. So I thought that'd be kind of cool for them to do. Um, so some fun little modifications made by the kids on that. I love seeing that. The other thing they got going was this. So they got. Um, they got Holland here. Holland is the six-legged. It's not a. It's not an arachnid, but it's arachnid-like. Uh, has six legs, so I guess technically it would be an insect. Um, it's named after Tom Holland, uh, the fabulously talented uh, actor who plays um, uh, Spider-Man. And uh, so they had this using the adaptive controller um, to uh, to play Minecraft. So they had the little legs going up and down, and they were hitting buttons with it. Very very cool. Again, not something I would have thought of. Uh, and I thought you know there could be some interesting interesting things to play with there because you could have uh, you could basically give people super abilities with the video game so they could literally doing key combinations that are robotically programmed in that would be you know faster than lightning well or as fast as lightning um, so uh, uh, just thought that was kind of cool that you know somebody who's using an assistive adapter um, you know who has uh, disabilities uh, that that require uh, sp specific configurations of these things could actually be better at playing the games than people without them because 
of um, uh, by using robotics. I just thought it was really clever of these bandits to figure that out. We also went and tried to play basketball in an electric wheelchair, which was very interesting. Um, and I got very worried about my friend's motorcycle that was <laughs> sitting off to the side there. Luckily, nothing happened. Otherwise, um, yeah, that'd be a very expensive tech bandit session. Anyways, it's kind of fun. What I love about having the kids here is that we've got lots of stuff for them to play with. So there's um, uh, really whatever, whatever takes their fancy in the way of technology, uh, they can play with, um, you know, we ended up finally having a whole discussion about how to stream, how to do gaming online, because one of the kids, uh, Golden Eagle, as he calls himself, um, wants to be a streamer. He's not yet old enough, but he's, he's working on that. So, uh, so I went through some of the technology, uh, well, some of the software uh, that he would need, and, um, and then much discussions about uh, what PCs and what PC upgrades should be made specifically for me. Um, so that is it. That is my, uh, that's my little week in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going tomorrow to go and have a little chat with the folks who are doing the educators program at Let's Talk Science tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to chatting with those uh, uh, amazing, amazing people who've shown up on their weekend to learn how to inspire kids in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So I'm going to go. I'm going to have a little, uh, a little talk, a little mini talk. And, um, and then eat all of their lunch. That's basically how it's going to work. So until we geek again, sweaty or not, um, thank you again for allowing me to do things like buy these little Tecla things because um, it really makes a difference just being able to play with this stuff and, and have, have new stuff all the time to, uh, to get the kids excited about this stuff. So thank you very much. Until we geek again, cheerio, bye!